Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a simple footstep system for when the player walks around in your game. So what we're going to want to do first is import our footstep sounds. So you can use your own ones or the ones I'm going to be using, which I have linked to download to down in the description below. So let's import these into our sound effects folder or wherever you want, but I just like to keep things organised. So let's open up that folder and find wherever we've downloaded them and simply just drag and drop them in to our content browser to import them like so. And make sure that these are .wav 16-bit files, otherwise it won't work. So I've just got three similar but slightly different footstep noises, which are these. So now we need to create an audio cue. So to do that, we simply right click, go under sounds, and then sound cue. And I'm just gonna call this footsteps. So now let's open this up, minimize it like that, select our footstep sounds, and simply drag and drop them into here like so. Then let's maximize this again, and then go down to these, select them, move them down, and then what we're going to want to do is get a random node, like so. And then just plug these in. And I'm going to add another input for the third one. And then off the output of this, we're going to want to get a modulator and the output of that into the output of the sound cue itself. And the reason we're using a random node is so that it doesn't sound like you're just looping the same sound over and over again, which will get quite annoying for the player after a long time. So that should be all done. Let's save this close it and then we're going to want to open up our character's run animation so as I'm just using the basic default ones in the start content I'll just go to content first person animations first person run and again you'll want to modify this for your own animations as I'm just using the basic ones so let's just pause this let's go to the start of the timeline by dragging this red box down here and then on to notifies timeline up here let's right click add notify play sound make sure it's at the start and for the play sound on the details panel over here, we're gonna to want to click on that. And then for the sound, we'll get our footsteps audio cue that we just made. And again, make sure that it's the sound cue and not just the sound file. So let's play this animation to see where the footsteps are each time. I think it's around 12 mark here. So again, I'll right click, add notify, play sound, and make sure that it's the footsteps audio cue. So let's play this to test it. And yeah, that sounds good. Now uh, again, obviously, you're going to want to change this for your own animations, which might be easier as you'll be able to see when the footstep actually hits the floor. And what we're basically doing on this is that it says we're essentially adding a keyframe at the start of the animation here and at this point in the animation here, and the keyframe is to play a random sound or just the audio cue that we've created. So let's save this and close it. And then we're going to want to do the same for the jump animation as well, as you want a sound to play when you start jumping and when you land. So again, let's just go to the start of the jump here, right click on notifies, add notify, play sound, make sure that the sound is the sound cue we just made, which I called footsteps. Let's test this. Yep, that looks good. And as you can see, it loops so that the start jump is actually also the landing. So we only need the one audio cue at the start there. So let's save this, close and hit play to test it. So as you can see, this works perfectly. We have footsteps for walking forwards, backwards, sideways, and also jumping and the landing. So I think that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and it helped you out. And if it did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.